Okay, so please ensure that you've co completed your mobility routine and let's go. So we've got the perfect 10. 10 exercises, 30 seconds work and 15 seconds rest with three sets total. So we've got squats, then we've got press ups, then we've got into reverse lunges, then we're into jump squats, then we're into cross body mountain climbers. They're into forward lunges. They're into the renegade row. They're into high knees. They're into jumping jacks. And then we've got an isometric squat hold. So we're kicking off with normal body weight squats. Off we go. So standing tall, sitting down into the heels, trying to keep the chest up, shoulders back. Trying to keep the weight off the toes as much as possible. That's going to minimise any stress on the knee joints. Again, just working on that range, trying to get as low as possible. Ideally, we're trying to get the bum level with the knee joint. And then pushing through the heels and squeezing the bum at the top. And then recover 15 seconds. So next up, we're going to get ourselves into press-up position. So we've got different options with the press up depending on your your level, your strength and your fitness. So we're going to start off with full press ups here. So our hands are wider than shoulder width, tense in the stomach, core nice and strong, lowering the chest down and pushing up aggressively from the ground. Alternatively, we can do the nice controlled negative press up. So just keeping that core nice and strong, controlling that movement on the way down. And then we can go three quarters from the knees. Recover there. Our third exercise is reverse lunges. So standing tall, chest up, shoulders back. I'm going to step back, drop the weight onto the heel of that standing front foot. Again, we've really got to emphasize pushing through the heel. That's going to take the stress off the knee joint and work the glutes and the hamstrings, which is what we're looking for. So we're keeping the chest up, shoulders back, dropping down onto the heel to get us back to that starting position. Okay, from reverse lunges next, we're going to go into the jump squat. So another leg exercise back to back. So again, we're looking for that slight bend in the knee, explosive movement off the ground. And you're trying to emphasize on cushioning that landing as we, as we drop down. And you do so by just keeping the knees nice and soft. Just trying to keep the chest up, just a little explosive movement, really focusing on cushioning that landing. Again, if you struggle with him impact stuff, you can set that back to a normal squat. So next up, we're into cross body mountain climbers. So hands very similar to what we did in a press up position. Feet hip width apart and we're bringing that knee across to the opposite elbow. So we're trying not to let the foot touch the ground until it gets back to that starting position. So the foot stays as close as possible to the ground without it touching. And really emphasize on using the core muscles as you bring that knee across to the opposite elbow. Rest for 15 seconds and then from there We're going to go into the alternating forward lunges now. So again, it's really important we get ourselves set up, standing tall, feet about hip width apart. We step forward, drop the weight onto the heel of that front foot. Forward lunges can be a little bit more stressful on the knees. So again, it's really important, just like we did on the reverse lunges, to really emphasize on dropping the weight onto the heel of that front foot. Again, you're trying to keep the upper body nice and straight. Squeeze the shoulder blades by doing so, keeping the core nice and strong. 
And again, really pushing back through the heel of that front foot to get you back to the starting position. Back to a core movement now into the renegade row. We're very similar to the cross bodies, but we take the feet a little bit outside shoulder width. Tense the stomach, core nice and strong, and then we're going to row up, trying to keep the elbows close to the body as we can, trying to minimize the hips swinging. So to do that, you really need to tense your stomach and squeeze your bum, squeeze your glutes, and try and retract that shoulder blade back, whichever side you're working, you're looking to squeeze that shoulder blade in, keeping the elbow close to the body. When you find the hips rocking a little bit, you just need to tighten up that stomach and squeeze the glutes. Rest for 15 seconds. And then next up, we're coming into your cardio with the high knees. So stand tall, soft knees, we're looking to bring the knees up, use the arms as well. So we're looking to keep the speed quite high on these. Knees are always soft, trying to keep the weight onto your toes, focus on your breathing throughout. Try and keep it as high intensity as possible on the high knees. And if you struggle with any impact stuff, you can just look at being stationary, just bringing the knee up and make it less impactful on the ankles. So two exercises left. Next up, we're going to go into the jumping jacks. So feet start together. We're stepping out, just outside shoulder width. Keeping the movement nice and dynamic. Slight bend in the knee, trying to emphasize keeping the weight on the toes as much as possible. Again, trying to focus on your breathing throughout with this. Try and keep the movement nice and light. If you're struggling with any impact stuff, you can take into a more stationary jack. So just stepping out to the side, that's going to minimize impact on the ankles particularly. Recover 15. We've got one exercise left, which is the isometric squat hold. We're really going to work the legs on this now. So feet just outside shoulder width. We're going to squat down into the heels, keep your chest up, shoulders back, really tensing that stomach and ideally we're looking to get the bum level with the knee joint, as much as your mobility will allow, just keeping all the tension in the legs now, particularly the quads, the front of the legs, focus on your breathing throughout, we're almost there for a rest. and come out of that position. So rest for 90 seconds and repeat as needed.